Hello everyone, I'm Dan Friedman, Direct Line Group. I'm a Director of Motor Development at Direct Line, so I'm responsible for our motor insurance product, design of the product, um, and linked to that is what we do with uh, telematics um, and our response to car technology more generally. I also look after our partnerships business, so the work we do with motor partners in the UK. So that's me. Uh, talk a little bit about the business, very, very high level. Um, so UK, uh, so Direct Line Group is the largest uh, motor insurer and largest general insurer in the UK. Um, we operate through very well established strong brands, so Direct Line is our, uh, our main brand, but we also have Churchill uh, and Privilege. We also operate a, uh, a roadside assistance business called Green Flag, um, which competes with, with the AA. Um, we also have strong partnership relationships, so we operate white label insurance for the likes of NatWest RBS um, and Peugeot Citroen. Um, and that's an area we're looking to grow and develop. In terms of number of customers, we have about 4 million uh, motor insurance policies on the books, uh, 4 million and growing. We also have 3.3 uh, million home insurance policies, makes us number two in home. And we have about 3.7 million rescue policies, which places us number three on the rescue side. So we're, we're a well-established business um, in a well-defined market, um, operating in one clear geography. We think that gives us an advantage um, in that market um, and a relatively stable position. However, ooh, which button do I push? There we go. Things are changing. Um, so one of the challenges we're facing into is the uh, development of connected and autonomous vehicle technology. This is a headline from the Daily Mail uh, from um, end of 2015. That was the point at which Tesla launched their highway autopilot feature on UK roads. Um, they did it as a over-the-air update. So from one day to the next, if you had a Tesla, you were able to start driving it, what people would call autonomously, although it's not an autonomous driving feature in itself. These technologies are proliferating through the car park. Um, it'll take a number of years, but it's happening. Um, and it presents a disruptive challenge and opportunity for companies like Direct Line. Um, and I think we heard from, from the A from Chris that it's a similar, similar challenge there. So the question is how do we deal with this challenge? What does it mean for our industry? Um, we're in the process of working that out, frankly. Um, but we have a confident set of plans and activities we're undertaking. Uh, what I would add to that, and why I'm excited to be here talking about TrackMate, is that telematics it plays a central role in our response. So we, we see telematics as an underpinning technology and capability that allows us as an organisation to take advantage of the disruption that's coming down the line. Um, I can explain a little bit why that is in a minute. So in terms of our telematics story, we relaunched our telematics activity in 2014. Uh, TrackMate played a key role in that, and I'll, I'll come on to that in a minute. Um, and we've grown to, over at the end of 16, over 90,000 um, live policies in, but with a telematics box attached. Um, so we're growing that business. Admittedly, at the moment, it's, it's operating in a niche, young drivers, which is a fact, feature of the UK market. Um, but we have ambitions and ambitions to grow out of that specific niche. Um, in terms of what we're doing with that area of business, uh, we're driving innovation on four fronts. We see this as a starting point for us. Um, and the four fronts we're innovating on are device, research and development, um, strongly supported and driven to a great extent by TrackMate, um, product and service development, again I'll provide a case study on that, uh, again TrackMate playing a strong role there, collaboration finding partners, uh, particularly focused on motor manufacturers, uh, and finally data science. So you're doing something useful, valuable for customers and for ourselves from risk perspective with the data we collect. And again, TrackMate are playing a role there. I'm going to pre present you with a couple of case studies which um, bring to light the role TrackMate have played on our journey so far and hopefully um, give you an indication of the opportunities we can potentially explore, we are in the process of exploring together. First case study, I'm going to talk about 
um, our plug-in device. So, we, um, I'm going to explain why a plug-in device is a good solution for telematics customers. Firstly, um, for consumers it is a far easier solution than having to arrange a fitting of a professionally installed device which is the standard solution in the market. So the market today, you get a telematics insurance policy, um, you will have to typically um, arrange a call uh, with a fit fitter, they'll come and fit the device in your car, they'll probably do some things to your car which on the face of it won't look very pleasant while they're doing it. Um, so you have to take time out of your day to be able to allow that fitting to occur. It's also cost. So for us as an insurer, that represents a significant cost to send somebody out to, uh, to do that fitment. So if you could find a solution that was a plug-in solution, that made a very big difference both to our customer experience and to the economics of telematics. And back in, um, I think, early 2000, late, late 20, 20, early 2014, late 2013, we were looking at a plug-in device as the way to unlock the opportunity for telematics. Um, and we're looking specifically at an OBD plug-in device. And we spoke to people in the market, or so people who were doing this, they said it can't be done. Um, not in Europe. It's too difficult to get these boxes in the car. They're too big. They drop out. People won't find the OBD port. They don't like it. It's not going to work. Just not going to work. Don't even bother going there. And this is coming from the established players in the market and insurers who were doing telematics at scale, particularly in areas like Italy, where it was a more established market. Um, there was one company that was saying, yeah, we can do it. It can be done. And that was Trackmate. Um, and their confidence led us to pursue um, the, uh, the plug-in solution for our customers. And after a trial at the in 13, uh, we launched this as our primary solution to market in 2014. Um, and it's been very, very successful. Very successful. Um, I'll touch later, in a, in a minute, on, on how the rest of the market has responded to that, or our observation of how the rest of the market competitors to Trackmates have responded to that success. Either way, um, we've got over 70,000 live units, uh, we've collected over a billion miles worth of journey data, and that's one second GPS data, all in the UK, so concentrated on one market. And Trackmate have continued to innovate and drive the development of that solution, so we're at our fourth generation solution uh, in the space of three years. With that, with that technology. So that's one case study. I'm now going to talk about, oh, I think there's some animation on this slide. I wasn't expecting that. Um, case studies. So it's case study two, a platform that delivers more. So when we started looking at telematics, uh, we were focused on insurance risk, understanding insurance risk, using the device to capture data around how people are driving and use that to price risk. We built an end-to-end -end supply chain. Uh, we integrated with TrackMates and other suppliers to deliver a telematic solution. And it was successful, it grew. But then we realized, well, hang on, we can do more than this with this than just telematics, more, than, more with this than just insurance. Um, and following some of the, uh, the coverage in the press of one of our competitors on the rescue side, I think it was the RAC at the time, we, um, we looked at rescue, so roadside assistance. And we followed a similar journey to, to the AA in that we we explored and developed a, um, a diagnostic service for our customers, call it Alert Me. Um, great thing about that service is that TrackMate took a lead in helping us develop that innovation. And more importantly, we are able to use exactly the same platform, device platform, data platform, service platform that we had set up on telematics to deliver a completely new and different service. So what I think this demonstrates is the versatility both of TrackMate as a company but also the platform and the technology, which bodes well for the future. Which brings me to the future. Um, we've just started on this journey. Um, I'm not really going to say more than that. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> closing, I just want to say some words about the TrackMate team uh, and business. So, we picked TrackMate originally because they were said they were the only guys in the market who could do this and they were confident it could be done with the black box device. Um, and we scaled up and it was great. And then we said, well, there are other players out there, there are other people we could be doing this with. There are bigger companies, more established companies. Um, and we thought, well, let's, let's put the contract at renewal out to tender. So we had a formal tender process. Um, 
and TrackMate engaged with that process very well and it was an open, fair process and they won. They won. And they were up against players that uh, on the face of it from the outside you wouldn't have expected them potentially to, to win against. Um, and they did a very good job. Um, they've demonstrated clear technical leadership through that tender process and through the relationship we've had with them before and since. Um, they are excellent at um, getting data out of cars, um, whether it be th well through a device and at the moment, but getting data out of cars um, and putting it out into an accessible format for companies like DLG to provide and create services. Uh, they're particularly strong on the diagnostic side, car diagnostic side, um, and based on our tender experience, they're leaders in this area. And they're also leaders on technology, the actual device. Um, very innovative company, I think that's been demonstrated both by what I've, I've shown you but also what, what Chris has, has said. Um, fast, you know, they, they managed to deliver our first pilots faster than, than we were expecting. Um, and I'll say very clearly, we're four or five years into the relationship. Um, in terms of development and innovation, they are very rarely on the critical path. What I mean by that is, we're not often finding ourselves being held up by process or activity at TrackMate. Typically they're moving with as fast as the business they're working with allows them to move. I think that's been the case for a while. Um, and they're very competitive. So in terms of commercial performance and, you know, um, they, they are a very good company and we're very happy to be working with them. Thank you very much. <laughs>